Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in Network Analysis and Synthesis series. Today we'll talk about Hurwitz polynomial. In Network Synthesis, it becomes necessary to check that the given function is physically realizable or not. And for this purpose, uh, the network function should satisfy all the properties of Hurwitz polynomial and positive real function. So in this tutorial, we'll talk about Hurwitz polynomial. And in the next tutorial, I'll talk about PRFs, which is positive real function. Now, there are many testing procedures to check uh, if a polynomial is a Hurwitz polynomial or not. And I've written down the properties of Hurwitz polynomial and I'll show you some examples where we are going to test the polynomial uh, for if it is Hurwitz or not. So properties of Hurwitz polynomial are all the coefficients are non-negative and real. The even and odd parts of Hurwitz polynomial have roots on the j omega axis. The continued fraction expression of a ratio of even to odd or odd to even part of the Hurwitz polynomial gives all positive quotient terms. Now this is the property which is supremely important because the property number 3 is necessary and sufficient condition for polynomial to be Hurwitz. So I'll mark this property as the star property because we are going to solve these two questions using this property. And finally all the terms from highest power of s to the lowest power of s must be present and the coefficients um, they all must be real and non-negative. Now you'll get a polynomial which, which will have a form something like this. For example we have a polynomial p of s. Now instead of checking uh, everything in this polynomial I'm going to show you the property number three as to how you can implement it. Now from this polynomial you'll need to separate out the even part and the odd part and then we'll find the continued fraction expression of the ratio of even to odd part. I'll say the even part is ms and I'll take out the even terms from this so this will become 5s square plus 6 and the odd part is denoted by n of s which is s cube plus 10s then I'll take the ratio of odd to even in this case because odd has um, a higher power so I'll take ns upon ms which becomes s cube plus 10s upon 5s square plus 6 so the continued expression format can be obtained by dividing s cube plus 10s by 5s square plus 6 or in other words uh, we'll divide the numerator with the denominator so firstly we apply it with s plus s upon 5 to get s cube plus 6 by 5 s so what you need to do is you need to bring this thing here so this is how the continue fraction is obtained to get rid of this I'll simply say I get a 6 here and then I divide this with so I get a 0 here now what you need to do is uh, if you express this PS as the ratio of 
odd to even parts in this case it becomes s by 5 which is the first quotient plus 1 upon 25.44 s which is the second quotient plus 1 upon 44 on 30 s yes, which is the third quotient this is the a way you can express it mathematically but you need to see the quotients q1 is 1 by 5 q2 is 25 by 4 the coefficients of all the quotients are coming out to be positive and with these positive quotients you can deduce that the polynomial is Hurwitz and the total number of quotient is equal to the highest degree of the s in the given polynomial so we've got three quotients and the highest degree is three so that confirms that the polynomial is Hurwitz and similarly let's try and solve one more question s cube on the similar lines here m s which denotes the even part of the polynomial is 2s square plus 1 the odd polynomial is s cube plus 4s and now in this particular case I'll again find the ratio of ns upon ms so I'll say s cube plus 4s divided by 2s squared plus 1 in the quotient is s by 2 in this case and now I need to bring this thing here Multiply this with 4 by 7s to get 2s. The idea is to eliminate this and I get a 1 and I bring this here until I'm left with a remainder 0. Alright. Over here also uh, quotient 1 is s uh, 1 by 2 quotient 2 coefficient of quotient 2 is 4 by 7 coefficient of quotient 3 is 7 by 2 and uh, we've got three coefficients which is equivalent to the highest degree of polynomial here so this is again a Hurwitz polynomial and once we determine that the polynomial is a Hurwitz polynomial so we'll also say that the network function is realizable and these were the properties of Hurwitz polynomial and the method of continued fraction expression this method is also widely used to form Foster and Carr forms in network synthesis so I hope this tutorial was of help if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye